this is the site, the largest site of phase three. One of the, I would say, one of the largest site of phase three, and we are receiving thousands of volunteers every day, and that's why we managed to accomplish large number of vaccination uh, or testing uh, within a short period of time. This vaccine uh, was tested initially in animals, what we call the preclinical, and uh, it was very successful. There was no serious side effects among the animals. Then they moved to phase one and two. Phase one and two uh, tested on humans in China. And we are testing, by the way, two types of vaccine. They are two different strains. Plus, uh, it was tested uh, like two strain plus the placebo, and phase one and phase two showed that the side effect uh, was not different between placebo versus vaccine. Phase three usually it is the phase that preceded the approval and the manufacturing of the vaccine. So it is a very critical phase. This is the phase where we test the safety of the vaccine and the efficacy of the vaccine. Uh, so far, there's no serious side effect. And efficacy, it is too early to judge the efficacy. We'll judge the efficacy by, not judge, but we'll measure the efficacy by measuring antibodies 14 days after the second dose, plus uh, monitoring all uh, volunteers for COVID-19 cases. All volunteers, they do receive a call 24 hours after uh, the vaccine, and then three days after the vaccine, and seven days after the vaccine. And during those calls, we do check certain safety check. Actually, we ask them almost from head to toe if they have any sign or symptoms. If anyone have any symptoms, uh, if we think it's maybe moderate, then we direct them to go to the emergency room for proper evaluation. Uh, well, the next process is we do testing just to see if they maintain their antibodies.